31 Seaver Way. Welcome to the home of the New York Mets. This is City Field. The show has an NL East matchup. It's the Washington Nationals going up against the New York Mets. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And on the hill, David Peterson. Yeah, he's definitely had a struggle so far this year, as evidenced by that inflated whip. But he's going to have to find a way to limit the base runners, put his team in a position to win a ball game. So we know he's prepared. We know this guy is a competitor. Leading and we'll watch how he works in this one. Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. C.J. Abrams. The lefty fires. That one clips the outside corner, and that's how this game gets started. Line drive, and that's just foul. The wind of the pitch. That one's upstairs, Paul Wong. Yeah, the count one and two. That's down and in. Swing and a ball lifted in the air, left field. Pretty well struck. That one carry. And out of here. He wastes no time on this one. Home run number 15 on the year. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. Well, you got to love a game that brings some action from the jump. And at the plate, he was looking for a pitch to absolutely drive. And, you know, leadoff hitters aren't up there anymore just working the count, trying to get on. They're looking to make some noise and do some damage. Here's Lane Thomas. Ball. First pitch misses. Thomas getting the start in right. Batting second in today's lineup. And he was a fifth-round pick back in 2014. That one fouled off. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. And a 1-1. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. The punch out there. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Oh, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Bader racing after it. Brings it in with a nice run and grab. Two down. Cool. As we take a look at the Nationals lineup, someone who makes things happen for them in part with his legs, Lane Thomas. Well, Boog, there aren't many guys who have a flair for the big moment like he does. I mean, batting over 400 with runners in scoring position. Are you kidding me? I know it's not guaranteed or an automatic, but I hope we get to see him in a close late game situation oh. with runners in scoring position and just see, is he truly a machine or not? Two outs. Right hey. through there for a strike. That misses the zone. Two and one. Good eye in that spot. Two down, base is empty, but one run across, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. And now it's filled up. I can't lose, Bull. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. 
One in the inning for the Nationals on the solo homer. It's now 1-0. Back after this on the show. Back here at City Field. And on the hill, Mackenzie Gore. Chris, he's got the ability to take control of the game when he's out there. Well, incredible mound presence, and he's going to attack hitters. Look at that strikeout per nine ratio over 10 coming into this start. So he's a pitcher that wants the ball. He's aggressive. He knows that he can get the swing and miss, especially when he needs it most. We'll see how effective he is in this one. Bottom of the first. And yeah, the batter now, Francisco Lindor. Swing and a ball popped up under it. And out number one on the grab. Here's a Mets lineup now. A guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, Mark Vientos. And Boog, he's slugging over 550 this year. We're talking total bases via home runs, doubles, triples at times. He's shown some big time power this year. So I'm going to be looking for him to make an impact with the bat in this one. No doubt about it. Here's Brandon Nimmo. All right, grounder into the outfield for a nine. So a man aboard now with one away. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Diving on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And here is J.D. Martinez. Pitch misses, and it's 1-0. For whatever reasons, this is a hitter that performs better in night games. We'll see what he brings in this one. Nimmo, the base runner at first with one out. And that one missing low. Got to be real careful here. 2-0. He's hunting for his pitch. And now the lefty on the ground to third. To second for one. And that's two. One hit in the inning, but no one left. One inning in the books here. It's the Nationals one and the Mets nothing. Back here in Queens, top of the second. And now up for Washington, Hebert Ruiz. As the lefty gets to work. Just missed. Hold on, no fight. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Aside to home plate duty is Ricky Holiday. Boog, and something I've heard players saying about Ricky's strike zone is how he will call the high strike. That could be something that's tough to deal with, especially if you've got a pitcher out there coming at you with high velocity. Towards first, boots it. But the throw to first oh. gets him easily, and that's the first down. That is it. The second base. And now it's Luis Garcia. Just missed. Gets him to chase after that one. It just started in and ended up on the outside edge, just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Goes right. down looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Fouled off left side. Mm 
Foul ball. It stays nothing and two. Just misses the mark outside the zone. It's a good take. Back to the mound. He's got it. Nats go down one, two, three. Nationals go quietly, but they still lead it one nothing. Outside, nope. and that's ball one. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One ball, two strikes. And another ball. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. No, Blue, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch that himself. Cool. That slider had hit him in in all over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited. He was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. And now it's Mark Vientos right through there for a strike. The Mets down by a run. Bottom half of inning number two. That breaking ball is in for a strike and quickly it is nothing in two. Down base is empty. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. No, that's not the best two strike fastball I've seen, but it certainly that's got away good. with the location Look there. Carefully. You'll sometimes, Lord, as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused Lord. on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get Lord, a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Two down, nobody on. Strike two. Benny really no sells ball, the changeup right. with that arm action. Lifted in the air, right center field. On the move. That drops in, plays it on a hop. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. Now the tag at second, and out. he's out. Trying for two. Three up, three down, inning over. We played two innings. It's one to nothing. Welcome back to the ballpark. Now at the plate, Trey Lipscomb. That one misses. One and oh. And a strike on the outside edge. the mark there and it's two and one definitely a swing and miss slider down and in he finished that really well just couldn't get him to offer at it the two on is high fouled off he was late instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended Tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. That one misses. Nope, so a leadoff walk. Leading off with the And here's the rookie center fielder. Jacob Young. 
Snap throw to first. Let's go. Back on a dive. And that one is lifted in the air. Taylor flashes the leather on the running catch. The up now for Washington, C.J. Abrams. He's already homered in this game. And a foul ball. Lipscomb leads off first with one away. And that's in there at the knees. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Slider got him for strike three. And take a look at the three-pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting him away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0-2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Lane Thomas digs in now. Caught looking his first time up. And that's in there for strike one. Two outs. Swing and he breaks his back. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Boom, that's staying within his game right there. I mean, this speedster gets the infield single, and now he's on base to possibly do some damage. I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get in a position to do so. And next is the designated hitter, James Wood. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. That misses, and that is ball one. Two on, two outs. Nope. Outside. Now 2-0. Oh. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Next offering is in for a strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Smoked on the ground a second. On to first. And that is that. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two are left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Nationals one and the Mets nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping in for New York, Tyrone Taylor. Gore back to work. Oh, nope. he doesn't get the call. Ball one. Well, I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but he looked a little shocked for a second there. The pitch. And another ball. Two balls, no break. In the air, right field. Nice grab on the run. And there's one down. Batting it. The third baseman. And now the veteran third baseman. That's outside. Ball one. Late on that fastball. I think he was sitting off speed there. Swings and misses. And the count one and two. The pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. 
The Nationals leading by a run here in the last half of the third. Ground ball to Bill. That's a base hit. And now Bader up to the plate. Bader. Top of the zone for a strike. Going on. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it. To be better than it actually was. Oh. That misses the zone. One and one. And the count even one and one. Man at first, one away. And Two the ball. next pitch is one way three. outside. That one ripped. That's back there. They must be going crazy in the dugout. His seventh home run of the season. And they jump out front. It's 2-1. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. Good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Back to the top of the lineup. And now it's Frankie Lindor. Ball. The shortstop takes the ball. Oh, here's a game Lindor will never forget. One night in July of 2023, he went five for five with a home run, two triples, and he scored three runs. That stat line is so rare. Only one other player has done it. Guess who? Willie Mays in 1958. Oh, Just missed. Gore. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, That's feel ball, good, three. but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. At the belt and fires. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Yepes snags it for the second out. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the no home run. Not allowing it to second stay eight, in the head, but going right to work right. at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. Oh. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the second baseman, Brandon Nimmo. And he's already singled in this game. First no, offering misses this is badly for ball one. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in, and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great <laughs> show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. Three balls, one strike. Two down, nobody on. Right through there for a strike. Pitch misses, and that's ball three. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's wrong. Two outs, bases empty. Left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that ends the inning. Mets had two runs on this blast. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. You're dialed into the show. Back here in Queens as we go to the top of the fourth. Now it's the Nationals cleanup hitter, Jesse Winker. The pitch. 
Oh. And takes low for ball one. Well, after ball putting one, up a no nice fight. inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't hey. give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Kicks and deals. And he swings over the top there. This guy's got one such ball. a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the door. Two that two one three. way outside. The count now two and two. Three. Swings, he misses, struck him out. Well, he just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up with two balls and two strikes with that time chased outside the zone. And now it's Kiebert Ruiz. That one at the knees for a strike. Ruiz measures six feet even, 25 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. And that's off that's inside. the inside edge. One and one. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. Ruiz checks his swing. Now it appealed to first. And he held up. Next offering is down low. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swings and misses. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Luis Garcia digging in for the Nationals. Struck out looking his first time. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Here's Juan Yepes. Here's a strike. Garcia, the runner at first with two gone. Swing and a miss. Oh, with two down. Oh, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. And here it comes. Ball one. Ball one there. Bounce to the left side. And that one handled. Gathers and throws to first. That's out number three. So one left for Washington, and our score remains 2-1. Back here at City Field, bottom four. Now J.D. Martinez at the plate. J.D. Martinez. And he deals. And there's a foul ball. These hitters like this that have so much power look forward to seeing them hit the ball a long way. But if you're in the stands, or you're in a broadcast booth, or you're a writer, better keep your eye on the game. He handles it himself. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Now back at first base. Alonso. Here's Pete Alonso. Struck out swinging his first time. Love it here at City Field. You know, it replaced Old Shea Stadium back in 2009, and Chipper Jones was really sad to see One it go. Out. It's actually the third home of the Mets since they started out at the Polo Grounds for two seasons before Shea was finished. And a foul ball. 
One out, base is empty. This is the zone, and he gets him to chase. Man, that was pretty gross right there. Wouldn't chase that time. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Mark Vientos up now for the Mets. He was a strikeout victim his first time. That clips the zone. That's strike one. Back to order with the breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Out there to center. Abrams makes the catch, and that is that. Nothing doing for the Mets as they're unable to add to their 2 1 lead. And we're back. Ready now for the fifth inning. Down the third baseman, Trey Lipscomb. Lipscomb. Peterson back to work. Missed Ball with a changeup, and it's one to know. You know, these Nationals just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Puts it away for the out. And on the mound, you know oh, confidence oh, oh, oh. has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had a meeting out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Number 30 yep, in the box out. now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. Ball Next left pitch left. is outside. This one smoked out to left. Martinez pulls it down and is two gone. And now here's the Nationals leadoff man, C.J. Abrams. He's already homered here in this one. In there for strike one. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. That one's got a chance. Bangs off the wall. And now the tying run is into scoring position. Now that right field. And in scoring position with two away. Next to hit for the Nats, Lane Thomas. Outside low, and that's ball one. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Abrams at second with two down. There's a swing and a miss. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Runner takes off for third. And the throws off wide, safe in third. I think he surprised everyone in the ballpark, and especially the pitcher. It wasn't a great lead there, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. spot had to make a great pitch did it got the strikeout gets out of the jam clearly he's happy with those results we 
We head to the bottom of the fifth. And here's the catcher, Luis Torrens. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And it's on one. And a pitch. Looking, and he did not like the call. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking no, right there. Got three 15. straight fastballs looking oh. in the 0-2 count. Just a poor oh. foul. Tyrone Taylor now at the plate. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. And a pitch. This is going to count one and two. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in a no two count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Next Whoa, one just that? misses. Now two and two. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Three. Now, all man for the fifth inning moving along. Two quick outs. Really love the pitch sequence now, right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Here's the third baseman. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Count one and oh. Way high. No strike. Right through there for a strike. Two one. Slapped hard the other way, but foul. Hey. Pulls the string with the changeup, struck him out. Mets go down quickly. They lead it two one. Of the sixth inning, go, and now the DH, James Wood. James Wood. Here comes a pitch. Fastball for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. It usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. And that's off the inside edge, and it's a ball to strike. And the pitch. There's a strike. <laughs> Foul ball still one and two count. Good eye right there. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Swings and misses, struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did it. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. 
That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. That ball exploded off his bat and off the warning track as well as it bounced over the fence. It sounded really good, too. He just put together a really nice swing and just missed a home run. And it's second with one away. Hebert Ruiz digging in for the Nationals. There's a strike. And it's second. Off the plate inside. One ball, one strike. Movement in the bullpen. Adam Adovino getting loose out there. Manaya getting cranked up as well. And the pitch. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Just missing there. Ball two. That's a really good take. And now two and two. Got him. Two away. Well, even if you don't feel great about it, you've got to swing the bat with two strikes in this situation. You've got the tying run out there in scoring position. Just put the ball in play. Maybe something good will happen. It just didn't look like he understood the situation. And now up for Washington, Luis Garcia, one for two. That one finds the zone. Oh, one, one. one. With the tying run at second, and we're at the top half of the sixth. Out to short. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Now batting. The first base. Well, I can understand the defense wow. right there trying to cut off that yeah, lead yeah. runner at third, but a good jump and an excellent finish for the base runner to get in there safely. So two outs with runners on the corners. And now it's Juan Yepes. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ball one, no strike. Corners are occupied with two down. Swung on, belted. Taylor going back. One runs in, and that one is off the wall. In to score from first, it's 3-2. Big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. So close to blasting that one out of here the other way, but well, that's very tough to do when you take on the outfield gap like that. Beautiful swing, though. Let the ball get a little deep and drove it to the opposite field. And here comes the Mets manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. David Peterson won't go any further tonight. And they trail as he exits, but he kept them close. A new arm will be on the mound after the break. So a young arm coming on now out of the pen, Christian Scott. And that's a big potential run out there at second as he comes in trying to keep the deficit where it is. For the infielders, they got to be thinking about keeping the ball from getting by them into the outfield any way they can. And now, Trey Lipscomb, he's 0 for 1. First pitch, and he just misses. Swings through that one for strike one. one, ball, one strike. Runner at second, two down. And a ground ball to first, and that squirts through. And they hold the runner at third base as they decide not to risk the send with two away. Here's the center fielder. Oh, 
There's the strike at the knees. Two outs. Swing and high fly ball left field. Drops into the glove. And that's the third out. But they'll pick up a couple runs here. Both coming on this two-run double. It's now a 3-2 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Leading up for the Mets. pitch that one finds the zone it's 0-1 well after scoring runs this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning get that hot team back in there to swing the bats and that's off the inside edge and that's ball one there's a strike Swinging on the curveball. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Cracks his bat and pops him up. Lindor retired. And there's two away. The second baseman, Brandon Nimmo. Now the number two hitter, Brandon Nimmo. On the ground, right side, Garcia. Whips it to first. And the Mets go one, two, three. Down in order, go the Mets. And it's still a three, two ball game. We go to the top of the seventh, and now the shortstop, C.J. Abrams. C.J. Abrams. And the right-hander back to work. Scott, a 6'4 righty. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and he works in a two-seamer. The wind of the pitch. Right through there for a strike. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. And now one and two. One ball, two strikes. And nope. another ball. And now it's filled up. Payoff pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The line to kick the pitch. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Now that right field. Up now for Washington, Lane Thomas. One for three. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. one. to the play and that's in the dirt well with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory get yourself in the scoring position
Got hit by him for the kill. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But in some way, you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. So now the DH spot, James Wood. 1-0. Pitch out, but no action. Abrams at first one gone Scott throws over and he's back in safely close but called a ball and it's 2 and 0 Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first he's in a favorable hitters count well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Right-hander kicks, deals on the ground, and foul ball. And a 2-1 on the way. Here goes the runner, pitch in for a strike. Throw to second, and great jump. Well, it seems like 90 feet is such a big deal in a tight one-run game like this one. Maybe it's a little bit risky, but they felt good about it, and it paid off. Let's see if they can turn this into a big run. One out, and a runner at second. Righty delivers. On a line, base hit. Headed for the plate. He'll score. It's 4-2. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Here's Jesse Winker. And the slider just misses. Moved first. Oh, it back in on a dive. Left hand hitter waits. And yeah, that's a little bit high. And the count is 2 and 0. Left-hand batter waits. One run across to the frame so far. Here at the top half of inning number seven. Next pitch inside. Three and one. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. On the ground to the left. And it goes just foul. Pitch. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. One at second. Over to Alonzo. Double play. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 4-2. here in Queens bottom of the inning and stepping in for New York J.D. Martinez and he deals that's, that's a, a little bit low meanwhile activity of the bullpen Jordan Weems up and loosening in the pen raining the hard throwing right hander up as well kicks and fires a little bit high maybe and now 2-0 Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. 
Well, patience and discipline paid off right now, there as he got Third into an advantage three. count. That's about Easy. as textbook as it gets. Oh, got his stride oh, oh. out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And next will be the Mets cleanup hitter, Pete Alonso, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Smash to center, way back, and you can forget it. That was blasted to the moon. His 19th home run of the year. It's 4-4. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. With this pitcher's velocity, a changeup is really a break for a hitter. He got a BP fastball, didn't move a whole lot, and he absolutely tattooed it. It appears Dave Martinez is ready to dive into his bullpen as he comes out of the dugout to make the change. Mackenzie Gore gives way, just never found his groove, wasn't able to settle in. New arm coming on, back in a moment. Jacob Barnes takes over on the mound. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing work behind him. They'll have to be in their toes with him on the bump. And now here is Mark Vientos. And a foul ball. Tied at four. Now this one's crushed down the line. Looking foul ball. Well, he saw that change up really well. Just a little early. Still barreled it. As you see, home run distance just couldn't keep it fair. Next That's pitch misses. One and two to count. Hey. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. The high heat, too much on that one. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens? Torrens, the next to hit, takes ball one. All tied up. You're the bottom of the seven. for a base hit. The right field, right number 15. Tyrone. Runner on at first with one gone. And now the right fielder, Tyrone Taylor. Inside oh, just missed. One away, tie game. Go ahead, run stands at first. That's in there. That's strike one. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. This one in the dirt. No advance. Good job behind the dish. The pitch. And there's a ball. On this count, runner. Not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Number 11 to bat next. And he walked it. Now batting, third baseman. Two on, one out. Now the third baseman. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield should be an inning ending double play in the air left field Winker should have it brings it in so first and second with two outs and next for the Mets Harrison, Harrison Bader, Bader. Bader. Base hit into the outfield. And it will play. He'll score and the Mets take the lead. It's 5-4. Big RBI for him right there. Pretty 
tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile. Back to the top of the Mets order. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. Sliced hard, but foul. Taylor on third. Bader on at first with two down. Galvin in, moved his feet. Right-hander deals. Bows it off. Still one and two. Kicks and deals. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. So they get three and jump ahead late. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Mets five and the Nationals four. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Reed Garrett. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity now to come in and protect the, the tight lead late in the ball game. Five. Some of them are just Three. wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Well, one run game. Hebert Ruiz digging in for the Nationals. Over three with two strikeouts and a ground out. The pitch. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. And the tying run is on with a leadoff single. Waste no time there. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. It's a team of bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. So digging in, Luis Garcia. Way upstairs, and that is ball one. The pitch. Right side. Lays out. Oh, it's off his glove. And he beats it. He's safe. Clearly to see the ball very well in this one. A really important bat coming right now. Juan Yepes digging in for the Nationals. Swing and a miss. Going one. Oh, one's the count. The possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Nobody out. Fall off foul. So the tying run at second. Tap softly third base side. A swinging bunt. That throw is wide. He has to lunge off the bag to get it. No outs on the play. Base is now loaded. Trey Lipscomb digging in for the Nationals. Golden opportunity right here. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Base hit. One run is in. Save. And it's 6-5. Well, he was a no, little no, off balance. He got the front foot down, but was so great at keeping the hands back and allowed him still to get good wood to this baseball. Big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. Adam Adovino getting the call to the mound. He comes on for the 35th time this now year. for the Mets. Number zero, Adam Adafino. And now the center fielder. Here we go. 
squares, pushes at it, misses it. Oh, it's one. a strike. 0 oh, and 1. Back and forth we go. A seesaw battle in the late stages of this one. That breaking ball is in for a strike, and quickly it is nothing in two. And here it comes. And he chases that one. And there's one down. C.J. Abrams will hit next. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. And fouled off. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. And strike two. This guy's sink has so much drop oh, it's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. Runners at first and second with one gone, and we're at the top of the eighth. Shortstop takes the ball. That one the other way. Down the line, and it's foul. Get on the ground to the right side. To second, that's one. Back to first, not in time. Well, that's great hustle out of the box to get down the line, knowing that a double play will end the inning. Good job at the finish, reaching out for the back. Now they have runners on the corners and still an opportunity to pick up some runs. Now it's the right fielder, Lane Thomas. Wouldn't that chase that time. The next nope. offering misses. Two balls, no strikes. Right-handed reliever. That one ripped, but foul. Yep, that's the runner at third. Abrams at first, two out of the inning. In there at the knees for a strike. Adovino throws the first. Back standing. He's in there safely. And a pitch. Base hit into right center. Runner in from third to extend their lead. It's 7 5 now. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. So, two down. James Wood digging in for the Nationals. In there, and it's 0 1. And a pitch. Line drive. Adam in center field. They strike for three runs on five hits. No errors and a couple left on. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the National 7 and the Mets 5. Back now. New pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Jordan Weems. Well, walks have certainly been an issue for him this season. So we'll see what kind of command he has. Weems. Now it's the second baseman, Brandon Nimmo. The second baseman, Brandon Nimmo. 
And a pitch. Ground ball right side. Steps on oh. first for the out. The bat. The, the left fielder. J.D. Martinez. Here's J.D. Martinez. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. No balls and a strike to J.D. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. Because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. He's got it. And a couple of quick outs. Now back up. The first base base. Pete. So up next for New York, Pete Alonso. First pitch just misses. Just off the inside edge. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. 2-0 to Cal. Here it comes. And it's fouled away. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball there. Hammers that one. Curling down the line and foul. Deals. Low. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. The Mets trailing by two here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing for the Mets. And they're down seven to five. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Edwin Diaz. Well, he's been excellent against left-handed hitters this year, and that's his first test. This looks like a good move to the pin in terms of the matchup. Jesse Winker digging in for the Nationals. The left field. Jesse Winker. Here comes a pitch. He was late there, strike one. Oh, one just threw that down. fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch Whoa. up to, especially with that velocity. One ball, one strike. Next oh, pitch is outside. Nice. Swing and a miss as he was out front. <laughs> Next one misses. Three and two down. Righty to the plate. And that's too high. Ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. And at first, Hebert Ruiz digging in for the Nationals. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Well, so many hard-throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that hitters have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to nope. it. Just that's pumping inside. gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch-up. That Ball one two. misses, and it's 2-1. and one. Winker on at first. Nobody out. And the slider just misses. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Out of line, out towards center. Bader calls it in, and there's one away. The batter of the team, second base, Luis. Garcia. Luis Garcia digging in for the Nationals. Let's get 
And a good eye there. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So that's a good take by him. Runner takes off. Swing and a miss. One and one. Throw to second. Ow. Man, I see him trying to be aggressive right there late in this ball game. Trying to add on to that lead. You know, I really like the thought, but it just didn't work out that time. Nice job by the defense right there to keep things right where they are in terms of the score. Two outs. Fastball for a strike. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. Bounced up the middle. Lindor. And that is He's that. Out. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Kyle Finnegan. And he's been fantastic this year, really stingy in terms of allowing base runners. He's just got great stuff that's tough to square up. So now, here's the Mets DH, Mark Vientos. The pitch. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Just missed. Really good run. Perhaps a little bit too much on that two seamer. Couldn't hold the corner. Next offering is in for a strike. Nasty 2 0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. The 2 1. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. At the belt and fires. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Slider got him for a strike three. Well, the first batter, it's yeah, always yeah. a big one the for the closer. I mean, you get that Louis. punch out, you get settled in. Oh, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. Terence stands in here, takes ball oh, one low. And the slider catches the zone. The Mets down by a pair. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Swing and a miss. One and two. One it might be time to two choke strike. up a little bit. Get that front foot down early. Maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. One and two here. Torrens tries to hold up, appeal to first. He did not go around. The Nets up by two here in the last half of inning number nine. Hey. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and he strikes out the first two hitters. Right it's hard here. not number to feel 15. defeated in that. This is going to go quickly, but you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. Taylor stands in now and watches strike one. Pulls that one foul. Finnegan is just one strike away. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, this was a fun game all the way around. We saw plenty of action. 12 runs total on the board, but a pretty close finish at the end. A 7-5 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.